What was the biggest issue just trying to defend that uh, offensive attack tonight? Um, you know, they play at a fast pace, and you know they play you know, better at home. Um, you know, they started early with uh, turnovers. Um, they got out in transition. They got the crowd involved. Um, and, you know, they, they had a f huge first half. Um, I felt like we, we dug ourselves a little hole up in the first half. But, you know, my guys competed. Uh, we played hard to the end, so I'm proud of them. Keontae, how do you think you guys uh, battled when you fell behind earlier today? Um, I feel like we just gave up a lot of second chance points. Um, yeah, other players step up. Dejon Harris hit two big threes for them. Um, it was just other players on their team just made big shots for them when we had to focus on other players. So. Uh, what made finishing inside such a struggle today for you guys? Uh, I feel like we could have been more aggressive with getting a contact, I feel like. Um, I think my guys did a pretty good job of trying to, you know, finish at the rim. Um, but, yeah, we on to the next one. We, we focus on Texas. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what do, you, what do you think you're going to do different in practice? I mean, I guess you guys have already been um, doing really well and then split with Kansas. What's, what are you looking to do going forward? Uh, that's a Coach Tane question. I'm not sure what, what he's preparing and what he got up his sleeve, but I'm pretty sure he has you know, something uh, you know, good for us. And then Keontae, it seemed like you had a feeling it in the mid-range area. Um, was that something that was uh, planned in the second half to go to you today? Um, I mean, Coach Perry, he just told me to try to get to my spots. And the second half, I just wanted to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, I feel like the first half, I was selling and trying to drive into the traffic and take a bad shot. So second half, I was just trying to play my game and just let the game come to me. Was this your A game, or do you guys feel like you can play a lot better and play better against that? Say that again. Did you bring your A game tonight, or do you feel like you got a lot more in the tank? Um, I mean, I feel like everybody on our team competed, uh, did everything they could. I mean, we on the Kansas home environment. They played good at home, got a crowd in it too, into it. I feel like we just dug ourselves in a big hole in the first half. But, I mean, we definitely could have did a lot better with rebounding down the stretch. Um, big possession of rebounding could have capitalized off that. Were there certain guys that they wanted you guys to cheat off of and, and kind of help off of tonight? Um, the game plan was obviously, you know, to slow Jalen down um, and, and Grady. And I feel like we did a good job. But, you know, the, Kansas has really good players. So other, other people stepped up, like DeWan and, uh, you know, Kevin McCullough. So, you know, you got to give credit to them because they, they adjusted and they, they played well. In the second half, you guys were able to kind of get it down to about eight or ten points a couple different times. But did you guys struggle to really kind of get into a flow offensively with all the foul calls in the second half? That's you, Key. Um, I feel like I mean I feel like we did a good job just trying to. I mean we won't get in the calls, just trying to play through it. Uh, I feel like we just like I said they just hit big shots down the end, I mean, towards the end of the game, and I mean that's really about it after that. Let's do one more question. Marquise, what was your reaction when you saw your coach get teed up early in the first half, and do you think the team responded to that? Uh, I mean, I, I knew the reason why he was doing it. He wanted to fire us up. Um, he, he wasn't really mad. I don't think he was really mad at the ref. He was just trying to, you know, get us to, you know, play with an edge and and a chip on our shoulder. But you know, that's not like him. He's he's. I mean, Coach Tang is a really good guy, so that technical doesn't really define who he is as a coach or a person. Um, but, you know, he, he probably felt like we didn't get the calls that, that we deserved. Um, but we on to the next game, and, you know, we're going to watch this one down.